Welcome to this mini training that we are going to provide for Azure Active Directory. Now, if you are brand new to our channel, this channel is dedicated to our members and also, um, you know, people who would like to know about certain things like real world IT skills. So what we are doing today is we're talking about this Azure Active Directory. Now, the reason we are doing is we basically look into what is happening these days in the job market and we wanna be current. So if you look at Azure Active Directory, you will see some of the jobs like IT Windows Desktop Support and Junior System Administrator, then they will put something like Azure Solution. So this could be a question in interview that do you have any experience with Azure? The reason we are talking about this is that some companies are moving towards cloud and they already have like an internal infrastructure set up servers and everything, you're already working on that. Even if you are not working, there could be some companies that just st straight up went to cloud and they're using Azure Office 365 and things like that. So now people are going to look for these skills and you can clearly see that there are titles that is exactly related to the tier one service tests and network engineers. So it's a kind of combination of skills between everybody. But if you go to the explanation, it's basically Azure Active Directory is Microsoft cloud based identity access management service which helps your employees sign in and access resources in kind of like similar to as uh, active directory which is on premise like you have a server you have active directory we have done a whole course on that but it's not a replacement to that it's it's basically designed for people who can quickly get their applications like these there's a, there's a lot of companies right now big companies they are building applications and they're letting you use Azure. So you will create an Azure an application and you will basically add users to that application, groups to that application, and then you can access this application by using your own account on Azure. You don't need an account directly with Box. You don't need an account directly with Zoom. So let me show you like, for example, here, like if you, not here, sorry, you go to Google and just type Zoom Azure. So you see they will give you configuration like this is a, another big software people are using for meeting. We use it for life training and they are giving you full instruction on how to create an enterprise application on Azure. You create a new application. You come here, you search for Zoom, then you find Zoom, then you configure it, click on sign on, then you do all this stuff right here. You got to have some, uh, you know, paid membership, whatever with that, uh, with that app. And then you come all the way down, you configure every single thing in Azure. Now, you must be thinking that, okay, this is kind of like a system admin job. Um, so um, what do I have to do? Well, once the system administrator set it up, in future or even now, why people are asking these skills? Because you as a, as a help desk, then need to come to this portal. And then you will be doing, you will be adding people, you will be removing people, you will be checking some uh, uh, some basic uh, troubleshooting or if it's uh, high level troubleshooting, then this will go back to the whoever basically configured this so you see it's coming if you think that it's not going to come then just go to indeed.com and just you know hit yourself with reality by looking at these jobs so that will give you a little bit more confidence that okay i need to do this. i need to learn this stuff so that's why we're doing this little basic training so first of all you need azure azure is basically a cloud-based subscription type of model so you don't just buy this and install it on your computer you actually buy the subscription so they give you access to it so of course now you will be like okay do you offer this no we don't offer this we don't offer anything cloud related subscriptions you have to just go there register yourself you can do it for free if you want to wait we will show you later on but for now just watch this video and kind of like learn what's in azure just to kind of get a, get a fresh up so if somebody asks you that in the in the interview at least you can say you have some knowledge about it you don't just say i don't know anything that's that's knowledge is better than saying i don't know anything okay so where is azure active directory in portal uh, dot azure dot com so this is like a office 365 portal also this is a different portal a lot of administrators uh, it managers and it people manage this stuff to give access to their developers and other people so you if, okay so if you're interested in becoming this azure type of person you want to become this cloud technician cloud administrator then what you will do is you will go to youtube type Go to JobSkillShare, go to YouTube.com, type JobSkillShare, and watch this video. Azure will take over help desk and system administrator. I'll put a link in description to watch this video. It's a pretty cool video. So now let's go back. Azure Active Directory is right here. 
So when you click on Azure Active Directory, you get this exactly what you were seeing in Active Directory inside the on-premises servers. Remember, you have a full course on that in our jobskillshare.org site. So you did all of that, but now it gives you more advanced capabilities because it's a cloud-based system. So now, if you come here and if I click on users, these users are actually coming from, these, are, these users are coming from our internal server. The reason for this is that you have a Windows Server AD connected to this whole environment, and then you have an Azure Active Directory right here. So if, let's say I'm a business and I don't have a server, I don't have any connection to the server, then I won't, won't see these people because these are coming from directly from my server. And that connection is done through Active Directory. If I go here, and if I come here, Azure AD Connect, this is what we are using. We have downloaded um, uh, basically this tool on the server, and on that server, when we add a user, after that one hour, it gets added to this Azure environment. If we don't have this tool, we didn't do this, you will not see Windows uh, Server AD. So this could be your first um, call that you know you um, when you when you add people to your server. Let's say somebody joined your company and they you add them to the server Active Directory and you add them over there and you don't see them over here, then you know that let's say if you're brand new you don't know that it's going to take you one hour right so if you come here ad connect you see it's going to take you one hour so you may be troubleshooting why is it not showing up in in the portal because there's something he needs to access an application from here whatever you know so this could be one reason one troubleshooting reason for you that either you can wait one hour or you can run a command on your servers to get this up and running now this is something that i it was a little advanced but i wanted to just kind of clear if i click here and you guys are like what is the difference between these two so for now, we are going to not talk about this. For this, like I say, you need to take the course and everything will be taught in live training. This is not related. This Windows Server 80 people. Right now, we thought that your company bought Azure and they started adding people here because they want to use integration to applications and things like that. So the first question will be the CEO or HR, they send you an email that, hey, can you add Emma to Azure Active Directory. You as a technician go in there. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go to all user. I'm going to click on new user. And here I am going to add Emma. So I'm going to call Emma. I'm going to give Emma a name. Emma. And is there another name? Okay, here. You can even invite user. You can create a new user right here. So here we're going to name Emma. And Emma first name. And Emma Caddy last name. Now, you can create a password for yourself or you, it will just create a password for you right here. So it you, you, you automatically created the password. Here, maybe the Emma, like for example, the HR people say that Emma is a part of a uh, customer service team. So you are going to click here and then you will, you will basically change the group and give her the group price. You did that in Active Directory. It's kind of almost similar. You can give, uh, you, can, you can add Emma and say, I don't want Emma to log in for next five days because I want to clear some agreements with Emma. So you can say yes over here, but still you will have information. But you can say no if you want her to log in. Now, also, you can you you can do a filter usage location, meaning like you can you can put a location here, and you don't you don't want Emma to be signing in from here. This this is not something you see in Active Directory on a server, right? So see this is the difference. You can put an Emma job title, and this could be uh, let's say for example we say customer service quickly. And I am going to add Emma. So just like the other users, we added Emma. But you look at this. Emma is added directly on Azure Active Directory. Now, if it's, if it's a, you know, if you want Emma back into your normal server, then, of course, this will be set up. The, the, the connection will be set up and this will do kind of like backward sync. So it's going to go out there and update your server as well. You, you do the same thing with the with the server when you add something you come over here okay but like I said don't don't forget about this stuff right here the server stuff so now Emma spent two or three months and Emma called you back right and Emma this is Emma right now and Emma's thinking okay hey um, can you reset my password I forgot my password you know so you as a technician then will come here and then you will click on reset password and here you can reset the password for Emma now other thing Emma will be doing is, let's say, for example, Emma changed the title of the job and now Emma is a manager. You will come here and you will in update that information right here. 
You can also see if Emma is having issues with something, you can troubleshoot Emma problems by, if you click on audit logs right here, you can see Emma, well, you will get a lot of things. When Emma log in somewhere, you are going to see all these audits from this account which is pretty cool, very detailed stuff right here. So if Emma is logging out, logging in from a, a mobile application or maybe a desktop or something else, everything will be added right here. You can also kind of like uh, do some security stuff like, okay, you want to know about some sign-ons, you know, all that kind of stuff. You want to troubleshoot that stuff. You can be, you can see that um, logs from here, okay? If Emma needs a group, for example, she wants to be added into a help desk group, then you can come click on group, click on add membership. And then here you can see there's a help desk group and just select that and this will add her to this group. You can also do license assignment. For example, you want to give Emma a license about some product. You can come here and say configure required settings and basically you need to do this. And if I want to give her uh, more advanced licenses then I can basically click on here or here depending on what I want to give so for example if I give her this license then this will give her that office 365 capabilities all everything included in office 365 I give her this one this is more advanced stuff now I also can go to assignments and do that let me actually click that so we assigned license this could be a quest a call to you can you you added the emma but she cannot access office 365 you can actually do it from here or you could go to office 365 portal office 365 and that's something different that's a different course then you can assign it from there you can come here and these are specific options that you can turn on and off for emma these are basic uh emails that you're going to get from hr or your it manager or their team manager that uh emma is a part of our team and we are a project management team can you turn on uh this project planner for emma or can you turn on this for emma that for emma this for emma these are all tickets guys from active uh, azure active directory so you're going to do this now of course you could do this from office 365 as well and you just click on assign and then Emma gets assigned. Now, of course, this is another issue that we'll fix, but this is how, if it was correctly done, you will see the assignment right there. Now, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory is not just for user, because then if it was for user, why would you, what's the point, you know? It's actually designed mainly for identity, as we, uh, we learn from here, cloud-based identity and access management service. So a lot of these applications that are there all these applications you go there and you you uh, let's say you bought this application and now you want emma to be logging into go to meeting by using her active directory as your active directory login um then you would be configuring this application in your azure active directory now this is not something you will be doing this is something that your um you know um as your cloud specialist or administrator will be doing by following documentation so just to show you usually they will come here to the enterprise application in application they will come here and they will add some applications now as you can see microsoft already added their applications automatically when you have this as your portal if you come here we'll just give them one example if i say office 365 yammer let's just go click on this, this is a kind of like a chatting type of software and if you see somebody created this application id is this and everything is there provision users no now if i basically wanted to give it uh permissions like to other users or i want to add users to it, i will come here and i'll add that user and basically i will search for that user from here and i'll pick that user so if i'm going to pick let's say this user right here then i will select and give that access um, and then of course i am going to click on default role and here you go so we just added this person to this now so if this if this person goes to yammer somehow from other applications then we can assign this access to now it's not that simple you really have to come here you have to do some things you have to con come to the permissions and here you have to kind of add some permissions uh, conditional access you will come here you will do some things over here policies and stuff like that then you do auditing and kind of like you know work on it this is not something that you can just learn from this video this when i configured a cms system for uh, an organization it took me a while because i had to do a lot of stuff you know just basic stuff but it's not that hard though once you get used to it it's pretty easy and it's pretty f like you no know, flawless because uh, I guess that's why a lot of people are moving here and and if it was not good none of these 
uh, big companies would be investing their time, like Zoom, Go to Meeting, to build code for this Azure Active Directory? Why would they do that if it's not if it's not good enough? But you can see every big company is right here. That should just gives you a clear indication that it's coming. People are going to use this, and these these the application that a lot of people are using it, and people are moving towards Office 365. People are moving towards Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, and they are gonna need you to be add people try to get this point they're going to need you to give them access this is not something network engineer or a sysadmin will be doing for a long time this is you guys uh as uh, level one help this uh it support technician will be doing this on their regular job as a technician okay so now getting back we are just focusing here. As you can see, we have organizational unit just like our, uh, you know, um, um, Active Directory that we had. You can actually come here and create some some things over here, identity stuff right here. You can do bulk operation if you want to. These are preview, mean this is not yet open, but you can just try it. And the rest we have here is uh, password reset. So you can come here and see there's a basically admin will always be enabled. You can do that stuff right here. Registration, um, you can also do that from here. There's a lot of things that you can do in Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, licenses, notification, properties, user settings, company branding, uh, mobility, custom domain names. Um, again, th this is a like you know, a course on its own, but I just wanted to just give you a little quick overview of why you will be needing uh, as your Active Directory is for this reason, you know, there will be devices that you will be adding. So, for example, this device is coming directly uh, from uh, uh, from a um, local system. This is actually a domain in, uh, co uh, connected computer connected to your Azure Active Directory. So if you go to your Windows 10 and you try to join that computer to your domain, you have now three options. One is Azure connection. So so think about this. Even at that level, you're going to be doing something to add these computers to the, to the uh, Azure Active Directory environment. And if I click on it, this is actually not registered, but slowly, slowly, if I keep registering this, this, this device will be then managed by by here you know i can come here and i can do things with it as you can see spending right here for this you need to do some uh you know tokens and things like that you got to make sure that everything is connected correctly but i just wanted to give you a little heads up that if you want to learn about this you don't need to you don't need to become a master of this but try to go to the documentation i will share this and try to learn some some things about it because as you can see it clearly says that it's, it's intended for it admins that doesn't mean sysadmins only. That doesn't mean network engineer or cloud engineer. This could, this could be clearly helped us at certain level. When a system administrator or network engineers, when they build something, they, they configure something, they don't configure it again and again, right? There's always then access and basic things, and that's where you take over. You as a help desk or technician, they take over, and then they do these things that I showed you, just basic stuff. Of course, if you want to learn this stuff on a very detailed base, like an admin, and you want to be really good at, then definitely watch that video that I shared. I'm going to share the link. You don't want to watch this video. We offer two trainings. One is AZ900, which is fundamental of everything like that you just saw, and you will, you will learn about it. You will learn about licenses. You will learn about these different products and also some hands-on stuff and then you will get into a pretty hands-on course az103 after that these are four days very fast paced and it's a pretty good uh, course to take so make sure you click on this to watch and learn more about it thank you hopefully this gives you some idea of what's coming next thank you